Welcome to a brand new episode of CNB Bazaar Buzz. I am your host Amir Naik and today we kickstart things with an SUV. Yes, it's the trending segment in the country and of course MG Motor India wanted a piece of that very pie. So here's their all new SUV, the Hector and we have the first look for you. SUVs are the most trending of uh, segments in the country and of course if you are a new car manufacturer you have to go there right and that is exactly what MG Motor India has done well it's come out with its new SUV and it's called the Hector and here it is it's unveiled today it's not going to be launched today but it's beautiful looking isn't it you know right from the front there is aggression there are a lot of lines up on the bonnet already and uh, you can obviously see how beautifully everything has been done. I mean, these lines right here that you see, these are DRLs, which obviously get into uh, turn indicators, which also double up as turn indicators, in fact. Then you have the, the global design language, so to say, is now that the DRLs are up here and the headlamps go down. So obviously the projector headlamps are down here and obviously further down, as you can see here, are the fog lamps. And then you have this beautiful looking grill up front, which is completely different in terms of design. It's not a mesh, so to say, but it stands out when, it com uh, when you compare it to its rivals. And then you have this entire chrome strip that covers the entire front grill. In fact, this is not standard. The chrome depends on uh, the variant uh, you have on offer. So the chrome is available only in the top spec variant, but bang in the middle of the front grill, is this MG badge. It's big and of course you can see it from a mile away. And then you have the entire side which gets covered with some beautiful lines as well. But let's go back and check out what beautiful rear design it has to offer. Now at the rear you have LED tail lamps and it's all beautifully woven in. Now you see this beautiful patch right here. It's all beautifully done. Uh, it's more like BMW or if you see from the back here actually, but really well integrated tail lamps right here. And you have this nice looking strip. Now if you open this, there you go. Once you open it, there is quite a big boot on offer. So massive actually, even I can sit here in fact and uh, get a couple of more guys to sit with me for sure but tons of baggage can go in here and uh, that's where it actually trumps most of its rivals but let's go inside and check out what more features it has to offer because that is the biggest plus point and probably the thing that makes it the benchmark in this segment Now in here, it's actually quite big on space and uh, if you go through all of it, you can see how beautifully everything, it's, it's very ergonomic and very minimal in terms of uh, dials in fact, because the center sits this. The 10.4 inch touchscreen infotainment system actually is HD and is one of the biggest in the segment, not one, the biggest in the segment, which makes it, uh, well, right up there. As uh, and, and yes, it sets the benchmark in that segment as well. Overall, if you see the dashboard, everything, the touch and feel of materials is really good. And uh, you have these nice cup holders, which also come with uh, a ring of an LED. So you know exactly where, where uh, the cubby hole is. A uh, lot of room up front, very minimal in terms of knobs or uh, buttons, in fact. And that makes it quite the futuristic car. Even if you see the instrument cluster, it's all digital. This is a very nice steering wheel. It's very proportionate in flat, flat bottom, if you see uh, very closely. And then you have all the dials right up here. So it's, um, it's, it's very ergonomic, as I said earlier, and very interesting to see uh, how it is. Uh, 
This also has the biggest sunroof in that segment and we've already told you that. But the space, the under thigh uh, support that you have for the seats, the lumbar support is extremely good. And really, we can't really wait to get into the back seat of the car and check out something more. Now at the back, of course, there is tons of space. 2750 millimeters of wheelbase and that's quite a lot and as you can see a lot of knee room headroom uh, could have been better actually but a lot of knee room as you can see a lot of shoulder room as well on both sides and could have done with a bit of headroom for sure but as far as facilities are concerned behind you don't get much there are these two cup holders that you get and there is the rear AC vent but you don't get well uh, uh, anything to uh, operate the infotainment system which uh, MG could have definitely done with but overall as a sense of space goes I think the Hector scores big when it comes to its competitions but now we take a look at what engines they have to offer and that's one of the trump cards that MG Motor India will bring to the country Now the Hector comes with a petrol and a diesel engine option. This one is particularly the diesel one and it comes with 167 brake horsepower on offer. 350 Newton meters of torque, according to the company from as low as 1450 RPM. That's big, isn't it? But we expect it to be a torquey engine and it only comes with a six-speed manual transmission. But there's also a petrol on offer, which, well, it's, diff it's a different strategy from what you've seen on, uh, from all the other manufacturers in this segment. Um, but that six, uh, it basically is a 1.5 litre turbocharged engine. And that is 143 brake horsepower on offer. Obviously 250 Newton meters of torque. But the big trump card that MG Motor is bringing to India is the hybrid. And it's a 48 volt lithium ion battery the petrol is available also with a dual clutch transmission which has been tried and tested for 2.2 million kilometers which is pretty excellent isn't it we can't wait to drive it and tell you all about it of course you know where to go when you well for reviews of course on car and bike and of course go to all our social handles like twitter facebook instagram and even youtube and ask us about this car you'll get to know all about it when we write out that very piece so stay tuned and stay tuned for more updates from Car and Bike. Well, we can't wait to see what the car is priced at when it is launched in June. But well, we know a hot hatch that was launched very recently and we know the price as well. We take you through the launch proceedings of the mini John Cooper work. It's yet another launch for the BMW Group in India in 2019. And this time around, it's a very lovely hot hatchback. Mini had brought us the JCW Pro Edition in 2017 and it was a riot, but was limited to just 20 units. But now we get the hardcore Mini Cooper in the new avatar in India. The John Cooper Works. The Mini JCW takes the CBU route into India and is priced at 43,50,000 rupees. Powering this high-performance Mini is a 2-litre 4-cylinder petrol engine, producing 228 brake horsepower and 320 Newton meters of torque. 0 to 100 km per hour is done in just 6.1 seconds. And it is offered in the Indian market with the 8-speed sports Steptronic automatic gearbox. Mini has made revisions to the chassis sport brake system and there's a proper mechanical limited slip differential. The Mini John Cooper works in fact even gets upgraded springs and dampers and even a lightened suspension. 
While not much has changed in terms of design for the Mini JCW, there are subtle changes to the face of the car and even the wheels. And of course, one cannot miss the Union Jack tail lamps. The cabin is all black and yes, you get the JCW sports seats as well. The Mini JCW is agile and totter around corners. So yes, expect it to be absolutely fun to drive anywhere. That hatch around the track is phenomenal fun and I can tell you my first hand experience because I was there. <laughs> well, let's move on to two scooters that Hero Motor Corp have brought into India, yes, which addresses the 125cc segment and one that, that needed definitely to have a, a big, big change made to it. We're talking about the Hero Maestro 125 and the pleasure which has gotten a little more powerful thanks to that 110cc engine. Well, here's the first look of both the scooters. Hero Motor Corp has just launched a brand new 125cc scooter. It's the new Hero Maestro Edge 125. Now this one has several firsts. For starters, this is the first fuel injected scooter available in the market right now. Of course, this comes in a carbureted version as well. It comes in three variants. A carb variant with drum brakes, which is priced at 58,500 rupees X showroom. There's a carb variant with disc brakes, which is priced at 60,000 rupees X showroom. And of course, this one, the fuel injected variant, is priced at 62,700 or thereabouts X showroom. Now, uh, of course, it gets combi brake system and it's got a new 125cc engine, which is also seen in the same Destiny 125. And it's feature rich scooter and uh, slight difference in the performance between the carb and the uh, fuel injected variant. The fuel injected variant of course makes slightly more power about 9.1 bhp at uh, 6000 uh, 7000 rpm and the carbureted variant makes about 8.7 bhp at 6750 rpm. Same amount of torque 10.2 newton meters of torque and uh, loaded with features. This one's got a part analog part digital speedometer you get a side stand indicator You've got an analog speedometer counter, you've got trip meters, you've got an odometer and uh, very nice, uh, you've got a pass light switch as well and quite nice switch gear here and you get a multi-function single instrument uh, a key. You can uh, open the key seat from the, there, that's the under seat storage space. You get about 18 liters of storage space inside and also with the key you can open the fuel lid, external fuel, you don't need to get out for a scooter to fuel fuel, you can just open it from the ignition key itself and fuel fuel here. It gets about 18 liters of under seat storage and there's also a handle lock on the same ignition key. Now this one is uh, the fuel injected version of course, is rated at about 51 odd kilometers per liter, uh, certified by the Automotive Research Institute of India. Uh, that's the claimed fuel in, uh, economy of the fuel injected version while the carbureted variation is rated at about 53 kilometers per liter. Uh, once again the new Maestro Edge 125, this one of course is the FI variant, there's also a carbureted variant in three variants, uh, carbureted with disc, carbureted with drum brakes and the top of the line more performance oriented, slightly more powerful fuel injected variant of the new Maestro Edge 125. That's the first fuel injected scooter available in India right now, the new Maestro Edge 125 FI.
Nearly a decade ago, when Hero Motor Co. first ventured into the scooter space, they launched the Hero Pleasure targeted specifically at riders of the fairer sex. And now in 2019, almost 10 years later, the Pleasure gets updated with a bigger engine, more performance, new styling. And of course, uh, it's not now targeted in marketing speak only at the fairer sex, but it's more of a complete family scooter right now. And if Pleasure gets a new 110cc engine, it's not all new, but it's got the same engine which is shared with the Hero Duet. And of course, uh, the chassis is all new and it's available in two variants now. Uh, this one, of course, gets the cast alloy wheels and the one, uh, the lower variant is gets steel wheels, both 10 inch wheels. So that's the new Hero Pleasure Plus, uh, brand new styling, brand new positioning. It's more a uh, family oriented scooter now. Uh, new 110 engine makes more power, more torque. It makes about 8 bhp of power and 8.7 newton meters of torque. And uh, steel alloy wheel version is priced at 47,000 odd rupees and the cast alloy wheel version is priced at about 49,000 odd rupees. So that's the new Hero Pleasure Plus. It's not again primarily a women centric scooter. It's more a complete family scooter now. And this one New styling, fresh new design, and uh, of course a bigger 110cc scooter, 110cc engine now. Uh, the 100cc Hero Pleasure will be phased out soon. After this one comes into market, it will be available in, for sale from June. So that's a new Hero Pleasure Plus, all new, latest scooter, complete family scooter, the Hero Pleasure Plus. After that, let's get into a break, and on the other side, a lot more coming, so stay tuned. Welcome back to CNB Bazaar Buzz, I am Amir Naik, and yes, one of the last stories that we have now is a segment that has been well growing in the Indian market, the commercial vehicle segment in fact, and a small chunk of it is what needs to be addressed and Tata Motors thinks that it has the solution to it. So here's what happened when it showcased the Intra truck to us. The small commercial vehicles category is one of the fastest growing segments in the last mile connectivity space. In the last financial year alone, the segment grew by almost 18%, with the industry collectively selling over 5 lakh vehicles. And now, Tata Motors is bringing an all-new offering in the segment. It was back in 2005 when Tata Motors first launched the Tata Ace in the small commercial vehicle segment. It has been one of the top sellers in the market with over 20 lakh units sold so far. Now, the company has decided to enter the market with a new, improved and far more premium model, Tata Intra and we are here to tell you all about it. Tata Motors says that the Intra has been designed for customers who are looking for a more aspirational model in this category. A product that can serve as a workhorse as well as a personal vehicle. We have seen that the market has kind of evolved and the, seg the segment of small commercial vehicles has also got sub-segmented and if you would see we have actually come out with a number of products in the small commercial vehicle segment with the ACE uh, as the, the platform. And we have had products like the ACE ZIP, the ACE XL, the ACE HD and so on and so forth. So this has kind of served the requirement of meeting those customers' requirement of transporting goods for the last mile distribution or the last mile pickup that they were doing. Uh, but with a certain uh, lead load uh, combination, which kind of served that purpose and which was helping them to make a li living or a livelihood for themselves and their families. 
But as the market has started evolving, we are clearly seeing that there is a need for a product which can actually do more in terms of performance, in terms of productivity, in terms of earning capacity, and therefore there was a need for us to look at something beyond the ACE to meet the aspirations of the people who wanted something more. The Intra gets a large front grille with a chrome slat, nuclear glass headlamps with integrated turn signal lights and a busy looking bumper with a provision to install fog lamps. The vehicle runs on a set of 14-inch steel wheels with the option for a set of stylish dual-tone hubcaps. The compact truck comes with one of the best in-segment loading areas that is 8.2 feet long and 5.2 feet wide and comes with a payload capacity of 1,100 kilograms. In fact, the vehicles that were taxied around were loaded with actual weights to replicate the feel of driving with maximum payload capacity. Tata says the Intra is targeted towards customers who are looking for a bit more comfort and convenience in the segment. So this Intra gets a lot of features that you generally don't find in vehicles of this category. For instance, you have a well laid, off, laid out cabin with this nice uh, plastic uh, dashboard with uh, contrast blue panels for the center console and air core vents then you have a manual air conditioning system a music system with aux in connectivity usb connectivity and a radio plus you get a full digital d instrument console which also gets the segment first gear position advisor The Tata Intra comes with a brand new 1.4 litre direct injection diesel engine that is tuned to churn out 69 brake horsepower and develop a peak torque of 140 newton meters. The engine comes mated to a 5 speed manual gearbox. Tata has confirmed that this engine is Bharat Stage 6 ready. The Tata Intra will be sold in India alongside the company's existing Ace Mini truck range and is slated to be launched in India on May 22nd. Expected to be priced around 5 lakh rupees. Well, it's going to be launched on May 22nd, so we'll bring you all the updates from there as well. But looks very promising in terms of a product and of course upping that premium quotient brings in a lot more pep in that CV segment. Well, that's it for this show. Hope you enjoyed watching it and we always enjoy bringing it to you. Thank you so much again for watching and uh, till next time, of course, the safety tip as always, always wear your seat belts and always, always wear your helmets while riding. See you next time.